For those of you who may not be aware, the original Predator movie from 1987 just so happens to be one of my all-time favorite movies. In fact, I've said many times that I not only believe that it is a great film overall, based on how it was constructed, but I also happen to be of the opinion that it just might be the greatest action movie ever made. Now, you can disagree with that, and that's fine. I'm not here to argue that point. The reality, however, is that this franchise has been trying to live up to the standards established by that original film for a very long time now. And every single time a new Predator film comes out, we always have someone proclaiming that this film will be the one to restore the quality of that original film. Filmmakers have tried and tried and even lied, but no one has been able to achieve that level of success. And regardless of what Rotten Tomatoes or the show critics might tell you, the most recent entry in this franchise, Prey, was nowhere near that level. But apparently that's not stopping Hollywood from moving forward with yet another Predator film from presumably the same creative team that brought us Prey. Let's discuss. I watch so you don't have to. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. So a while back before Prey was released, I made a video in the early stages of my YouTube career called Stop Making Predator Movies. And the general idea of that video was that I believe that everything that needed to be said about the overall Predator concept was said in that original film. And that maybe everything is not meant to be a franchise. And I stand by that. Now, some of you may like Predator 2. Some of you may like Predators. Some of you may like the Alien vs. Predator movies. And some of you may even like Prey. But for me, all of those sequels, prequels, and spinoffs only proved one thing, it's that this franchise is basically just treading water at this point. Where's that getting us, huh? Nowhere. Fast. Each one of those films is just basically covering all the same bullet points established in the original movie, and they put a couple of flashy things in each new entry to try to make it feel different, but anyone who's paying attention can see right through that. Let's have a bigger predator that kills other predators. Let's just drop the predator in a different location. Let's have a CGI anti-predator suit built by Tony Stark, apparently, that's going to set up a sequel that we will never see. And just to show you I'm not just picking on the Predator franchise here, let's take a look at the most recent Scream movie for reference. Because if I'm going to piss off one fan base with this video, I might as well piss off two. Scream 6 to me was nothing more than the creators of that film taking a once smart and unique slasher franchise and basically turning it into just another formulaic slasher franchise. They filled that film with gimmicks to trick the audience into thinking they are seeing something unique. You see it's Ghostface, but this time he's different. This time he's in New York City. This time he's carrying a shotgun. I swear we were literally half a step away from getting Ghostface in space next. This is what Hollywood does to try to prolong franchises that they still want to try to squeeze some money out of. But they've obviously outstayed their welcome. And to me, this is exactly what is going to happen and what's been happening with the Predator franchise. Deadline is reporting that Dan Trachtenberg is set to direct a follow-up to his 2022 Prey film. The film will be titled Badlands and it will begin filming later this year. It was also reported by The Hollywood Reporter that Badlands will be set in the future and will once again have a female lead. Yes, queen! So apparently we are going to continue the new trend of making Predator films that do not have Predator in the title. Which I don't really have a massive issue with, honestly. I mean, I don't know why they can't call it Predator Badlands, because that does sound pretty cool. But when it comes right down to it, the title of this film is probably the least of our worries. What's interesting about this news is that we still have a lot of people who are trying to convince themselves that Prey was actually a good movie. And these people are coming out in droves to praise this announcement. And if you look at the comments for these two posts that I just mentioned, they are filled with people expressing their desire to see the Predator just dropped in different historical periods for future installments. 
Apparently that's enough to captivate the imagination of a lot of people. You're really talking about just raising your standards. And you know what? If we didn't have so many failed Predator movies already, I might be down for something like that. But as always with me, the location and the time period doesn't matter nearly as much as the story and the execution. You see, I'm not so easily impressed and swayed by the bare minimum. If we take a look back at my early reactions to the Prey announcement, I was skeptical, but I was open to it. Because on paper, Native Americans fighting to the death against a predator for their survival in a very primal way does sound quite intriguing to me. But the problem with that movie, as always, was the execution. I did not care for how the Predator itself was portrayed in that film, and I did not find the lead of that film to be remotely convincing as a viable threat to a Predator. Not impressed. That film also completely abandoned the more cerebral and slow burn pace of the original. That was actually pretty essential to why that film worked in the first place. Because there was an actual building of tension that was very gradual and organic. And we weren't just immediately dropped into this conflict with this extraterrestrial hunter. Once the Predator is eventually revealed in that original film, the audience feels like they earned it. In Prey, you basically just have the Predator showing up immediately and doing Predator shit, and I could care less about anything that was happening. You can thrust a Predator into any time period and put him on any planet that you want. It will all mean nothing if you don't make the Predator itself feel important, and if you don't properly build your characters and atmosphere in a way that intrigues audiences. They didn't do that in Prey, and I have very little faith that they will be able to do that in Badlands. I find your lack of faith disturbing. They are quite literally going to turn the Predator franchise into a gimmick franchise now. And the normies will most likely eat it up just like they did this mid-ass Prey movie. And you already see confirmation of that in these people's comments. The other part of this that needs to be addressed is yes, this film will in fact have yet another female lead. Now I know when you bring this type of shit up normally, people will automatically just come to you and say you must hate women as a way of discrediting your opinion. But no, what I actually hate is forced, poorly written and developed characters, whether they're male or female. The truth is, is that you can put a female lead in your movie until you are blue in the face. But if you don't put in the legwork to establish them properly, the audience is not going to connect with them. Hollywood thinks that they can just squat down and shit out another Ellen Ripley anytime they feel like it. But that's not how it works. It's Hollywood, baby. Who knows what's going to happen? Ellen Ripley worked and is iconic to this day because they built that character from the ground up on screen so everyone could see her development. Typically in film, adversity in character development is how you make your audience connect with your characters. So is that what we are going to get with the female lead in Badlands? It didn't feel like we really got it with Prey, so again, I'm skeptical. Bottom line, I'm not entirely sure that there's actually a demand for another Predator movie to begin with. You can tell me all you want that Prey did well on streaming, but when it comes right down to it, I would respond to that and say, well, there's a reason that Prey was on streaming to begin with. And I'm assuming that Badlands will be released in a similar manner. Once again, you can do whatever you want with this franchise, but unless you're going to do something unique and memorable, you're pretty much just wasting all of our time. I ain't got time to bleed. Y'all be cool. Shut up.